Hello, knife people. I think it's a common sense. This is RC3 in flat bevel. Bevel, flat bevel, and convex edge. Made by me. Mm, this one. Beretta. Loveless Hunter. Hollow bevel and a convex edge. Made by me. And this one. Zero grind. Convex bevel and edge. No secondary. My self made edge. I think only Bug River Knife and Tool Company is making this zero grind convex bevel and edge as a production knife factory level mass production Park River is a great the greatest company in my opinion mm. This is zero grind, flat bevel, edge, so to say, scan the edge, made by me. Mm. But, more correctly speaking, it has a my self-made Deeper convex micro bevel, very near to the edge, maybe two or three milli from the edge line. Convex is deepened edge portion. This one too, nearly flat, but it's very edge portion has a micro convex edge like this why because i need convex edge always because i need to remove muscles from bones i don't know what i do is the boning they say Anyhow, I need to remove muscles from bones. Muscles. So, the edge must slide on the bone. Should not bite the bone. This biting always makes edge problems. Roaring or chipping. Sliding edge will be always useful for every hunter, not only me. Anyhow, bevel and edge is different. Flat bevel. Secondary edge. This angle always 30 degrees. This one. This angle is sharp. 
in my opinion, thirty five, thirty. Twenty five from twenty five to thirty five. If the edge was in this range, I feel its edge is sharp. Thirty is my final destination. Always using water stones, I first make. 25 angle edge like this removing this shoulder portion and this angle 25 sharper side in this sharp range here but this is flat Basically, water stone sharpening, my hand swings so a bit, of course, convex, but basically flat. Too shallow to be tough. This 25 edge always takes edge problems. In this case, Bark River always comes with 25 edge angle edge in any steels only one you know irregularity how oh, I should say anyhow not regular one was 3V bushcrafter and uh, bravo one Regularly, always come with 25 watt small angle. A2 is okay. With 25 degree angle, it doesn't take any edge problem during the addressing. 25. Very sharp and tough in A2. But this 19C27 Swedish Sandvik stainless steel was not as tough or hard as A2 so it took micro rolls after the initial use in the addressing so I put a micro bevel stropped it at relatively high angle, this is regular angle, high angle a bit, and I made it a deeper angle edge. And now, in my estimation, it has 30 degrees. 30 degrees, okay, it's sharp enough. A2, bravo, sorry, A2 Fox River, it's A2. Stropping angle is different, intentionally or intuitionally. I know it's A2, so my stropping is 25 degrees this time. Oh, Sandvik, okay, 30. Intuitionally, I change my stropping angle. A2 is this kind of steel. It can stand, it can stand with this angle against bone touching A2 hmm I am once I make uh, 25 degree edge angle with this water stone if I use a sandpaper Sandpaper can do the same thing as uh, water stone, but using sandpaper, I cannot use the both hands 
sandpaper can move. So, always one hand sharpening. Water stone, two hand sharp like this. So, more stable. So, I can make 25 angle edge. Sandpaper is different. And then, using black compound leather strop, I deepen this edge angle like this. I ground this portion. I ground, grind this very edge portion and make the final convex edge angle 30. Same as the original angle. Same. But the bevel design is convex. It's my edge. Like this. Hollow bevel and convex edge. Flat bevel and convex edge. Generally speaking, hollow bevel is easy to take a convex edge by me. Flat bevel has much metal to be ground off. Mm. This is pretty thin knife, so this height is okay. But mm. moment. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is. Isla 2 Ridiculously thicker than SA 3 So the grind initial my intended 25 degree edge needed this height we grinding mm. So I prefer thinner or hollow bevel knives to make uh, my needed convex edge on it. Okay. This primary bevel, saber bevel, from here to the edge was 30 degrees. So, and this secondary edge from the factory is ridiculously large 40 degrees this one only talking about this one 40 out of the sharp range so I must this 40 degree edge uh, get back into the sharp range so I did full height grind not full from the transitional line to the edge, totally. I get it back to 30. But this edge, 30 edge, has a genuine scanty edge, zero grain. Not tough enough. So I put a micro bevel on it. And it's now 35, just under 35, around here. 33 or 4, maybe. So it's very sharp. All sharp. Under 35 degrees. My deepest edge knife is this one. Bussy. Caps. I didn't touch this edge at all yet. As you see. It's a convex edge on the flat bevel. Pretty thin. However, I don't feel any sharpness at all on my finger. It's out of the sharp range. Maybe 37 or 8, not 40. Hmm. Mm. 35. 
clearly sharper. It's 32. Very sharper, 32. 30. Very sharper, 30. I'm sorry, 30, 30, 30. But this one, over 35, 36 or such. Ridiculously deep as this quality knife. Mm, but pretty tough, it must be. Strange edge. You know, this is the sharpest knife. 25 degrees. Hmm. Now, not so sharp. Hmm. Maybe my stropping was not enough. After use, I need to strop this edge more from now. <laughs> okay. This is 30, 30, 30. Yeah. 30. I like 30 degree edge in my estimation. Not sure. It's not very correct. Just my estimation. 30. I like 30. I don't like 36. Just my estimation. I'm sorry. I like 30. My self-made 30, convex 30, not the factory-made, VH 30. Yeah, 32 maybe, my self-made. It comes with 40 degree, ridiculous edge. No good, 30. It uh, came with 30 VH and I made 30 convex edge, depending on the theory. Written on the previous paper, 30. It must be 25, but now it's not very sharp. I will be sharper with this stuff. Anyhow, for hunters, convex edge is clearly has advantage, but for regular knife people, stropping is very easy to restore the edge, correct. The most easy way, easiest way. Waterstone, fixed alignment shopping system, difficult. And they can make chipping. Hard sharpening is not very good. Soft sharpening is very good for maintenance. So, for regular people, my way is recommended, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching. It's a pretty good hollow bevel knife for me. You know, many people know I love Bark River knives. It's because no use to regrind like this. And A2. It's A2 can hold 25 degree edge toughness. Good, good steel A2. I personally don't need this hollow bevel at all. I need this sharp edge and this sustaining super steel A2. Hmm. Maybe, I'll say it, mm, not wrong. I like soft side steel, easy to restore. Chipping steel is no good. I don't have any chipping steels. Other than some steel. Thanks for watching. Oh, my guy is coming back. See you, bye bye.